Good morning, crafty people. It's Raina, and today I have a design team project for Saw Crafters. This is a chipboard mini album, and Saw had included um, almost all uh, chipboard mini albums for me in my newest and latest DT package. I shared that um, haul um, in just a video not too far back, and I will try to remember to link that in the description box down below so you guys can check out all the great stuff I got. But as you can see, this is a super cute um, shaped mini album. And this is how it came out. It's kind of shabby chic. I didn't distress all the papers, um, but it is still kind of a shabby chic style. So um, as I did with my last shaped mini, I had to use two different rings because the rings weren't big enough. So I did um, three chipboard pieces on one ring and two on another and then I just tied them together with all my pretty um, leftover laces and trims that I just save all this these scrap pieces so that I can do things like this with it and use them on cards so this is the front of my mini and I used oh what's the name of the paper collection somebody will want to know and it is Um, Hello Baby by Craft and You Designs. So, that's what I used. And I used a 6x6. Six six, and then I bought um, a 12x12 12 12 ephemera sheet. So, um, I did add some papers. Because I had two 6x6 six six pads, but I wanted to save some. So I can make it another mini at a later time so um, this is a six by six pad and then I added in some extra papers and then the one ephemera sheet so here on the outside is a Michaels frame and I spray painted that with um, just an ivory color I added my flower cluster on this back here I wanted an image off of this paper so I cut that image, fussy cut that image out, and then I was left with these pretty flowers. So I decided to fussy cut those and add them to the front. I layered my gorgeous wild orchid craft flowers. And then, I don't know if you can see, I added these wings to the back. And I believe I got those at Natasha's scrapbook corner. So the paper says, it's a girl, so cute. And what I did was, this wood piece back here is one of Sawcrafter's wood pieces. And I just made it so that can lift out. And you can see the rest of the wings back behind there. Um, but I did that so whoever gets this album, if they wanted, they could add a photo here instead of um, the little picture from the paper. So let's get started. It opens up like this and on this page so super cute little images I fussy cut that out and made it into a pocket I added this word from saw it is precious and I just love it and I added these clouds as my photo mat pulls and I just love how that looks and then um, photo mats on the back as well so when you tuck these in it really looks like clouds and I just love it okay so my next page here um, this is from the ephemera collection really cute um, I added some little flowers I had this um, safety pin and I clipped this cute cute little let me see bring it up closer little baby carriage um, and then I just have two photo mats here. And these are all four by fours or four and a quarter by four and a quarter. All right. So the next page is this page here. And it's so super cute. I did a little waterfall. And it just holds closed 
with this here and this little banner is from the paper collection and I just added some lace across the top and then um, on the bows I added this little spoon and then right here this little umbrella so this is fussy cut from the collection and you can slide a photo underneath so a photo can go underneath the banner and everything and then this just lifts up for more photos and I did not do the backs because once you put a 4x4 photo on there, you're going to get your little border. So let me tie that up. Because I'm a little OCD. I've told you guys that. And I mean it. I really, really am. All right. So my next page is kind of... Um, kind of got to turn it like that okay so this spot right here is for a photo and you can um, this wood piece from saw this is a wood piece from saw and the photo can actually slide underneath that oh uh, let's see if I have something so it can still go back you know behind there if necessary and then also behind here. So this is one of Saw's um, um, lamp posts and it had another piece on them. I'm going to be honest because this just happened and um, I'm going to go ahead and glue that back on. Um, I won't say this is delicate. It's not really delicate but it's probably because I had it hanging over the edge but I'm going to glue this one piece back on like that. So if you're interested in this mini, I am going to glue that back on. Um, and then you've got a little heart locket right here. And then this page lifts up. And I'm going to show you that when you put your photo up here at the top, it will also, sorry, your photo will also slide underneath there. Now, down here, I have this really cute paper, all from the collection. I actually cut this out from the, the cover of the paper collection. And this opens up like this and like that. Now, I'm going to tell you also, there's room to slide something down in here if you wanted to. So, so cute. All right. The next page, super, super cute. This wood crown is from Saw Store, and I layered this crown on top of it. It's a, a charm I had in my stash, and I had some of this little bling trim. These little um, chipboard wood pieces, um, chipboard wood, Chipboard pieces are from Saw's store, and this just ties, and it opens up like this and like this, and like this and like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine photos in there. And then just a little journaling tag here. And then over here, I fussy cut um, from the paper collection again to make a pocket. And then this pulls out. And you kind of see this is one of Saw's really cute little wooden balloons. And I added baby, and I tied um, a little twine ribbon and a hanger. And then down here at the bottom, it says, has one of Saw's XO. I love it. I love this. So cute. So this is um, just a little photo booklet. 
So three photos can go there. And then these are the last two pages. And this is a, um, a side pocket. And this little booklet pulls out. And I have two of Saw's wood pieces here. This is like the photo, uh, Viewmaster photo thing. And then I put one of her locks uh, on top little flower cluster uh, real pretty paper and then this opens up like that so you've got room for three photos on the back and two photos up here so five photos and that tucks back in there and that's magnetized so it stays now <laughs> I just said so it stays <laughs> and it fell fantastic all right this is a pocket page and you can see how I embellished with laces. This is one of Saw's wooden hangers. You can see it there. And this is another one of Saw's chipboard hearts and I just covered it with the paper and I embellished up the, the hanger. So up here, let me pull out the photo mat. Um, this is just a a frame that I had in my stash and what I did was I had this little wood piece and I made it so it pulls out so you could put a little tiny photo in there if you wanted to and I added the wings and then this piece just well it's supposed there we go it folds up and then we've got that little pretty um, so you can put another photo here, just leave it like that. And then we have a photo mat and a photo mat. So let me slip that back in. And that tucks back away right there. And then just the back of the album. So there you go. That is my latest mini album, chipboard mini album. Um, from Saw Crafters. I hope you liked it. I would like to sell this mini album. I would like to get $55 shipped. Um, let me know if you're interested. You can email me and uh, that will be in the description box below as will the link to Saw Crafters and my haul video. Thanks for watching. I hope you will head over to Saw Crafters. Her prices are amazingly reasonable and you can totally, totally treat yourself to some great stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.